here I have a number line. And when determining sequences, my first step is to uh, check out the differences. The d one way to do it is to say I'm looking for a number. I'm either subtracting, multiplying, adding, or dividing in order to get the next number. This is my first number in the sequence, or A1. This is my second number in the sequence, or otherwise known as A2. This is my third number in the sequence, or A3. This is my fourth number in the sequence, or A4. Now, as far as the fifth number in the sequence, I don't know. And I'm going to even show you how to determine the hundredth number in the sequence. Okay, in order to do that, we need to find out the difference. Uh, the reason I say difference is because it starts high and goes low. So to get from 21 to 13, or on the number line, I'm going backwards, notice 21 minus 13, I'm subtracting 8. 13 minus 5, once again, I'm going backwards, I'm subtracting 8. How about from 5, what is 5 minus a negative 3? Well, I go 5, 6, 7, 8, once again, I'm subtracting 8. Okay, so I know the difference, or the D, is a negative 8 because I'm subtracting 8. Okay, let's go ahead and find the next sequence on here. And let's go ahead and find this. Uh, we need to find the next three sequences. There should be dot, dot, dot. There you go. Okay, the first thing we need to do is find the difference, or how do we get from one to the other. We're at one-fourth, and we got to zero, so that's one-fourth. You know, that's pretty easy to do, but what about one-half minus one-fourth? Why don't we go ahead and um, divide if you take your calculators and say 3 divided by 4, you're going to get 0.75. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. 1 divided by 4 is 0.25. And then 0. And a lot of times it's easier to work in decimals. It's easier to see. Notice uh, from 0.75 to 0.50, you went down by 25 cents. Uh, if you had 50 cents and now you have 25 cents, you went down by 25 cents again. And this would be, once again, you spent 25 cents. So the next number in the sequence would be a negative 0 0.25 and then a 0 if I went down another 25 cents, it would be negative point. 50, and if I went down a negative point blah, to 5, it would be a negative point 75. And here I have the next three terms. Okay, now I'm going to use the formula. If I had, if my formula is a to subscribe n equals a1, which is our first position, plus n minus 1, and the difference is d. What if I told you that the first term is going to be 7, the difference in the terms is going to be 9, and the n, or nth position, is going to be the 18th number. Okay, now we can do it out the long way. We can start with our first position as 7. 7 and have a difference of 9. And then go all the way down to the 18th number. Okay. 
okay? Or we can use this, the formula. I love formulas. They make it the world so easy, okay? So if we took it, we had our first number is, our A1 is 7. Our N is 18. 18 minus 1, and the difference is 9. And we're going to solve that. We're going to say 7 plus 18 minus 1 is 17 times 9. And we're going to say 17 times 9, 3, 6, 153. So 7 plus 153 is 7910 it's 160 okay so a to the 18th equals 160 so like I said if you were gonna go ahead and find the 18th number it would be 160 notice this n is positive where here when we we're counting so we're counting up. Here we're counting down and our n is negative. Also here we're counting down so our n is negative. Okay? So that only makes sense if we start at 7 we're going to go up to the 18th term skipping 9 numbers each time it's going to give us 160. So that makes sense. Okay, let's take it a step further. Let's write the nth term. Let's find the formula and then graph the first five sequences, okay? Uh, if you don't remember, I like to write these formulas at the top of every page. It's a to the nth term plus the first term or equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the distance. And the very first thing we need to do is well, we need to find what the next term is because that will give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, uh, uh, let's find the difference. If I go from 9 to 13, I'm jumping by 4. If I go from uh, 13 to 17, I'm jumping by 4. If I go from 17 to 21, I'm jumping by 4. And 21 plus 4 Notice I'm going up, so I'm adding. Plus 4 would be 25. In this case, my a to the n equals my first position of 9 plus n minus 1, and the difference is a positive 4. 9 plus, now I'm going to distribute the 4 to the n and the 4 to the negative 1. I know I'm going to distribute because if you notice, there's nothing here in between the parentheses and the number. And 4 times n is 4n, and 4 times negative 1 is a negative 4. Now I'm going to combine like terms. My 4 and my negative 4 are like terms, and 9 minus 4 is 5 plus, I'm going to rewrite my 4n. Okay, now what that basically tells me is if a to the 1, or the first position, would be 5 plus 4 times the first position, which would mean a to the 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 5 is 9. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, if I want to know the fifth position, I'd put a 5 for n, and I have my formula as 5 plus 4 times my n is 5. I'm looking for the fifth position. And so, therefore, a to the 5 is 4 times 4 is 20, plus 5 is 25. And the fifth number in the sequence is 25. So I know I am correct. Now, 
how do I graph? Because I need an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, and a blah, blah, blah. I'm just kidding. Okay, I have my formula. What if instead of putting A, N, I put Y? See? I'm going to change this to Y, and I'm going to change this to X. So it looks like everything we just did. So it would be 4X plus 5. Well, all I need are my X and Y intercepts. X, Y. 0, 0. I'm going to first plug in 0 for x. So y equals 4 times 0 plus 5. So therefore y equals, because 4 times 0 is 0. I'm going to add my, put my 5. Now I'm going to plug in 0 for y. 0 equals 4x plus 5. I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides, giving me negative 5 equals 4x. This zeroes out. I need to get the x all alone. They're connected through multiplication. So I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. And so negative 5 fourths, or negative 1 and 1 fourth, or negative 1 <coughs> Excuse me, point twenty five, twenty five hundredths is your x. You can write down whatever one you want. Negative one and one fourth. Okay, these are my points. I'm going to graph them. I'm going to go and I have zero five zero. Ooh. So I have zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have negative 1 and 1 4, so negative 1 and a little bit more than 0. And I hate drawing lines on here because I can't draw a very straight line. So I'm doing the best I can. Okay? If if, 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 your teacher wants you to graph just the points of the first five, of the first positions, this is what you can do. If I have a n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times d, and a n equals my first position's 9 plus the difference or I'm looking for, I don't know, n minus 1, and the difference is a positive 4. I now have a n equals 9 plus 4n minus 4. a n equals 9, not 9. 9 minus 4 is 5, or I'm going to put the 4n plus 5 first, because 9 minus 4, okay, this is what I have. If I'm going to set up my table where my x is my n and my answer is a n. Gosh, I can't draw a straight line on here. Okay. If my first number was 1, my first position was 1. Okay. In the first position, I can see that number is 9. My second number right there is 13. My third number is 17. My fourth number is 21 and my fifth number is 25. And if I were to do that and plug in my first number, I'd get 9, because 4 times 1 is 4, plus 5 is 9. If I were to find out what my second number is, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 5 is 13. If I were to find out what my third number is, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 5 is 17. 
if I were to find out what my fourth number is, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 5 is 21. And if I were to find out what my fifth number is, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 5 is 25. Okay, so here I now have my ordered pairs. Now I can plot them. So I go to 1 and 9, 2 and 13, 3 and 17. I go to 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 21, and then 5 and 25. Notice I go over 1, up 9, over 1, up 13, over 1, up 17. I'm not over, I keep saying over 1. Over 1, over 2, up 13, over 3, up 17, over 4, up 21, over 5, up 25. And that's how you plot. Uh, you don't necessarily have to connect it. Ask your teacher if you want it to connect. Please use a ruler. I know it's much easier. Okay, and there you go. Thank you for watching.